Hello, everyone, and welcome back again to our ongoing pandemic response team reopening update series. Uh, this particular iteration of the series is a very exciting video, as this is going to cover this coming week and hopefully many, many weeks in the future, as this video uh, is going to be about us actually reopening. So as was said in our previous video, the Newman Center will be reopening the week of the 14th of March, that is this Sunday, um, we'll start having masses. That will be how we inaugurate our reopening. They'll begin uh, this Sunday, and then the office will open this Monday, the 15th of March. We'll start uh, scheduling uh, sacraments and events again when the office opens on Monday. So we will be fully open come Monday, the 15th of March. And in just a couple of days now, just two days now, uh, we will be uh, having masses in person again at the Newman Center. So as I said, masses start this Sunday. We'll have the same three masses that we had before we began our winter break. There'll be masses at nine in the morning, at noon, and at 6.30 in the evening. All three of these masses will be on Sundays and only on Sundays. Our attendance limit for masses is currently uh, 50 persons. We anticipate that this number will increase as it did when we first reopened uh, back in the spring. So this attendance limit will go up over time, but for now we will limit each mass to 50 persons in attendance. The nine o'clock mass will continue to be live streamed during the mass. So if you go to our UB Newman Facebook page, you'll be able to watch the mass virtually um, and uh, following the completion of the Mass, uh, that the video, uh, which will have been recorded, will be available on our YouTube channel, which is UB Newman Center, as well as on our website, newmancenter at ub.org. If you want to join us for Mass in person, you need to reserve a ticket for yourself. Um, because of our attendance limits, we need to monitor how many people are coming to Masses. Uh, and so to do this, um, we require that anyone coming to Mass with us registers first. So to reserve a ticket, you can either go onto our website or call into the office. Tickets are available for Sunday Masses the preceding Friday, beginning at 10 o'clock in the morning. Meaning if you want to go to Mass uh, this Sunday, tomorrow you can start either calling into the office or using the link on our website that will take you to Eventbrite, which is uh, the platform that we use to reserve tickets, uh, beginning at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. As I said, there's a link on our website, newmancenter at ub.org, or you can always call into the office at 716-636-7495. Please note the office is only staffed on Fridays when it's the weekend. Uh, that is, you can't call in on Saturday or Sunday to reserve a ticket, no one will be there. When you actually come to Mass with us, this is just going to be a reminder for any of you who joined us previously for Mass, and for those of you that haven't, this is uh, sort of the setup that we have uh, that we've been using to make sure everyone stays safe when uh, they join us for Mass. So when you come to Mass, you are first going to need to check in at one of the tables that will be set up in the lobby. So when you come up to the main entrance of the Newman Center, which is the only entrance that will be open, you will first enter into through the main doors and you'll see uh, to your left a table with masks in case you need one. Once you enter into the lobby on your right, there'll be a table with hand sanitizer. Uh, and then to your left, there'll be tables with some friendly greeters at them. Uh, go to one of those tables and our greeters will check you in. They will find out who you are and they'll make sure that we have the right contact information for you uh, in case we would have to do any kind of contact tracing following the mask. Once you've verified your contact tracing, then move to the two main doors for the community room. Wait there until an usher comes uh, to seat you. The usher will take you to your seats. Um, and then after that, uh, well, you will wait for Mass to begin. Before and during Mass, we ask that you stay in your seats to make sure that we're safely distancing all of the persons in attendance, as well as uh, the staff members who are helping us, the volunteers who are helping us, and uh, any priest or deacons who will be at the mass uh, doing mass things. So make sure you please stay in your seats. Um, this also helps decrease congestion in the aisleways uh, as we're trying to move people uh, into seats. Um, and then also at communion, um, just to remind or to let everyone know for the first time, our Eucharistic ministers will come to you. You don't need to leave your seat for communion, just remain there. Though you'll hear this in an announcement at mass, so everyone knows now, 
for communion after you receive the host, do not consume it until the Eucharistic minister has left your row. And then once you have consumed the host, please make sure that you immediately replace your mask. We are only going to be offering communion in the species of the host. Uh, we will not be offering uh, wine at this time. At the dismissal, at the end of mass, an usher will come direct you uh, when to exit the building. So please do not simply leave your row, wait for an usher to let you know that your row can leave. We do this to make sure that we don't have everyone crowding together at the end of mass. Um, when you are directed to leave, please make sure that you do so promptly and please do not gather in the lobby. Um, one of the things that we know about COVID is that it transmits extremely easily in indoor spaces. So for the safety of everyone, we are asking that if you would like to uh, converse with Father or uh, Deacon Mike or Father Roy when he's there, if you would like to converse with some of uh, your friends that you haven't seen in a while, uh, please do so outside, especially since it's getting nicer. Um, that should just be something that we all enjoy. But um, we ask that you do not stay in the building afterward. The community room has to be cleaned and disinfected after every mass, so we can't have you gathering there. And then again, uh, as a general rule, it is safer outside than inside. So we ask for anyone who's remaining after mass to do so not in the building. As a final note, uh, you will hear announcements as I've already alluded to at mass. There may be other instructions an usher gives you. Um, please just make sure that you're following these instructions when they're given and that you're being respectful of our, uh, at this point, almost all volunteer core of greeters and ushers and other persons helping at masses. We're doing the best that we can to make sure everything proceeds efficiently, to make sure that we're getting everyone into mass who wants to go. Uh, be understanding of us. And uh, again, make sure that you're listening to whatever instructions are being given know that whenever we give these instructions, we're doing it just to make sure we can keep everyone safe, to make sure that we can have all these processes run efficiently and to ultimately make sure that we can have uh, as many people as possible back uh, at mass with us. For sacraments and other events, so things outside of our Sunday masses, once the office opens, as was mentioned, we'll again begin scheduling both sacraments and events. For sacraments and events, we will have an attendance limit of 25 persons like the attendance limit for mass. We anticipate that this will increase as we move into the future, but for now, 25 persons are the maximum that can attend any non-Sunday mass uh, liturgy, any separate sacrament being done outside the context of a liturgy, and then any in-person event. For faith sharing families, you will be emailed information concerning the sacraments. So this would be for anyone who's receiving the sacrament of confirmation, uh, the sacrament of first reconciliation or the sacrament of first communion. For all of these uh, students, uh, the family will be given information from Rachel. Once we have finalized the dates for these sacraments, it will be emailed to you. You'll have chances to sign up for uh, the masses when we doing these sacraments. So you will be given information directly. For anyone else who's interested in having a sacrament at the Newman Center, a baptism, a funeral, uh, or a wedding, uh, these can be scheduled all through the office and the number, again, 716-636-7495. Confession will be available monthly at our holy hours, which will be held on Saturday nights. Uh, for anyone who would like to schedule private confession with Father Pat, call the main office and set up an appointment with him. But again, we'll have confession monthly, at least during the school year, and hopefully that's something that we'll be able to continue into the summer. And then uh, if you are not able to make one of these uh, uh, holy hours that we'll be having, there are opportunities for private confession. For events, we're going to begin permitting that uh, different groups meet at the Newman Center. Just keep in mind that we are going to have to limit the number of people who come to these events. These have that attendance limit that I mentioned earlier. If you want to schedule an event, call the office. Uh, however, please be aware that there may be some events that we are not able to approve of right now. Um, this is simply to say that there are still going to be some activities that are more risky than others. We're not going to allow those activities indoors in person. What's an example of something like this? We're not gonna let you have a big cookout in the middle of the Newman Center. Um, eating is an activity that requires people to have their masks off. We're probably not going to uh, allow for a choir recital 
or a concert in the Newman Center right now. Singing is an activity that involves a lot of expulsion uh, of uh, the air in our lungs, which can carry with it then, uh, well, particles uh, that are infectious that could transmit COVID to persons if there happens to be someone who is infected uh, in the choir. So this is simply to say, if you are proposing an event that we believe is going to result in higher risk for attendees, we will probably not approve it. But for something like, say, a book club uh, for our campus ministry events, uh, for uh, other meetings that may be had regularly by the groups at Newman, all of these kinds of events most likely will be approved. Again, you simply need to call the office. We'll let you know what times we have available. Finally, just some general information. If you're coming into the Newman Center, you need to be wearing a facial covering. It needs to stay over your nose and mouth, and it needs to stay there the entire time you are at the Newman Center with us. We thank you in advance for doing this. Um, we know everyone's gotten used to wearing masks everywhere. The Newman Center is one more place where you need to wear them because it keeps everyone around you safe and it helps keep you safe to some degree. So please make sure you are wearing a mask when you come to see us. The Newman Center is gonna be cleaned and disinfected daily. Um, there will also be special cleaning and disinfecting procedures that are done following masses, sacraments and events so that you can be confident that we are keeping things nice and sanitary for you. If you are coming into the Newman Center for anything other than simply to drop something off or pick something up quickly, you need to sign in at the office. There is a book that is at the front desk. You should sign your name, some form of contact information, whether it's a phone number or an email address, and then also put down the date and the time that you came into the Newman Center. This is again for the purposes of contact tracing if we would ever need to do that. If you come into the Newman Center as part of a household, only one person from that household uh, needs to provide contact information, but every member does need to sign in. So this would apply to, say, families coming in for baptisms. Uh, this would apply to, say, uh, faith-sharing families coming in uh, to celebrate a sacrament with us. Anytime you're coming in a household group, again, only one person has to give contact information for that group, but we do need to know every single person who came into the Newman Center. Finally, uh, if you would like to keep up to date on everything going on in our Newman community, you can do so by subscribing to our newsletter and then also to either our community or our student email lists, uh, depending on which list is best suited for you. You can contact ubnewman at gmail.com to subscribe to either the newsletter or uh, our email lists. You can also follow us on Facebook. Just look for UB Newman, Instagram, look for the same thing, and YouTube. Uh, we should look for UB Newman Center. We'll have both the virtual content that we're offering, things like our uh, reflective and contemplative series, Thoughtful Thursdays, uh, things like updates on the pandemic situation, information about vaccines and testing in New York State and in Erie County, um, also just general information about the Newman Center. If you're a student, uh, make sure you come to our Instagram page as you'll see everything going on in campus ministry. If you're a community member, make sure you follow uh, our Facebook page and also look for Father Pat's Facebook page. He's still doing uh, poetry reading every day. Uh, so again, we try and provide, since we realize things still aren't normal, we try and provide additional content through virtual means. And you can find all of that uh, by using our social media platforms. So that's everything for this video. We look forward to seeing everyone who will be back with us on Sunday. We look forward to actually having things going on in the Newman Center again. Uh, we look very much forward uh, to being able to welcome everyone back fully, hopefully in a few months once everyone is vaccinated. Let's all be very, very hopeful uh, that once we get everyone vaccinated, we will in fact see the full recession of this pandemic and we will in fact be able to fully gather together again. Until then, remember to stay careful, stay prayerful, get vaccinated. And then finally, on behalf of Father Pat and the entire UB Newman staff, we would like to welcome all of you home. We'll see you this Sunday.